someone else who's coming out, uh, not a little later, but right now. In fact, he's already here. And he's from no place in particular. <laughs> it's hard to tell, isn't it? And I refer to Elliot Goblet. Goblet. Hello, and it's great to be here. Do you people realise that if your knees were up a bit higher, then your head would be closer to the ground when you kneel down? <laughs> Just thought I'd share that with you, because it's pretty important. I like to sit in the back seat of a taxi with a cassette player and play the taped sounds of a taxi radio, then ask the driver to turn the radio down a bit. <laughs> I like to have a big party at a mystery address, invite people I don't know, and then not even turn up myself. <laughs> I got thrown out of a 10-pin bowling alley. My argument was there was no sign saying you had to bowl in just your own lane. <laughs> I got thrown out of a bingo game because I yelled out bingo every time a number was called out. <laughs> you know, lots of entertainers are into merchandising with things like books, records, T-shirts, etc. Well, I've decided to get into the action myself with this specially etched drinking goblet made out of one part pewter and one part Elliot. <laughs> Normally sells for $40, but next week I'll be selling it for the very special price of just $38. That's a savings of $2 or 10 times 20 cents. <laughs> and if you consider that a 20 cent coin in a parking meter could save you a $30 fine, then buying one of these goblets could in fact save you 10 times $30, <laughs> which equals $300. Buy two goblets and you could be $600 richer. Buy a thousand and you could retire. <laughs> I'd like to change the pace a bit now. I like to flirt with danger and use my products right on the use-by date. <laughs> Yesterday, I'd spent all day driving around a roundabout. It was one of those days when I needed to go for a long drive, just didn't want to drive very far away from home. <laughs> just catching my breath. Right now, I'm renovating, and under my floorboards, I found a really old newspaper. In this newspaper was an article about the sorts of things you find under your floorboards, including a picture of the newspaper I was reading. <laughs> when I paint my house and have to use two coats of paint to save time, I just mix the two coats together and paint once. <laughs> Do you ever wonder where an ant has room for its insides? <laughs> Do you ever wonder how tough life would be for a fish if that fish hated the water? <laughs> Do you ever wonder how many ping pong balls on average a guy would have to stick down his trousers before people noticed that there was a sizeable bulge? <laughs> the answer's 32. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit sad right now. My new kitten ran away and obviously wanted to make it a complete break because the kitty litter's gone too. <laughs> I like to break in rocking horses. <laughs> I like to hang around outside a church just after the wedding of absolute strangers so that I can kiss the bride. <laughs> With a bit of work, I can get through about 15 weddings every weekend. <laughs> I like to half blow up a balloon, put it under my shirt sleeve, then go into a chemist shop and ask if they've got something for a mosquito bite that's just gone out of control. <laughs> I like to go to a pizza shop and, using their address, order a takeaway pizza from another pizza shop. <laughs> I'll buzz off and leave them to work it out. One time I went for a job interview, but it only lasted two minutes, because on that day I just wasn't in the mood to answer any questions. <laughs> I'm happy to say that I've finally set a date for my wedding. November 21st this year. It's not very far away, so I'm hoping to meet a girl real soon. <laughs> <laughs> my doctor told me not to eat any red meat, so I dye my steaks green. <laughs> it's an oldie, but a goodie. Good night, and thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot Goblin! <laughs> <laughs>